Hello investors, my name is Dayhan. Welcome back to No One Place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be covering three altcoins to buy right now in the month of December. So potentially here in the past 24 hours, the market is down about 1.21% seeing a little bit of a cool off in the markets. So our top gainer here in the past 24 hours is going to be Tezos, which is up about 32%. As we can see, it's having a little bit of an uptrend from this bottom, you know, support area that bounced off of. Now we're waiting for it to close this gap, you know, and fill up and continue to push on higher and higher, potentially, you know, trying to rally back to the all-time high area. Our highest volume is going to be Bitcoin at 32.3 billion in volume, Ethereum at 21.7 billion. Bitcoin's down about 1.7%, Ethereum's down about 1% or so. Bitcoin at 50,000, Ethereum at 4,300. So Ethereum holding steady right there we see all these other mid cap and large cap coins are down about two to two two to four percent depending on which one we're looking at we even have some green here polka dots up two percent luna's up about three and a half percent and then a bigger loser here avalanche down about seven percent or so and then everything else is either down a percent or two or flat with some outliers chain link up eight percent or so axie infinity up five percent trons up four and a half percent so we're seeing a mixture of green and red all over the market depending on which coin that you guys are looking at so next up Let's take a quick look at the crypto bubbles to see how the market is performing in the past week. So obviously we had a huge sell off last uh, you know week uh, in the market, or especially on like Thursday into Friday. And as you can see, that's uh, you know correlating right here. So we're seeing a lot of red bubbles and not too many green. There's only a handful of green on this list. One of the big ones here is going to be GX Chain up 264 percent. Another one here, Cortex up about 99 percent. We see Polygon right here up about 20 percent. I even saw Luna here for a second about 17 percent or so. There's some other green ones in here that you guys can see it yourself, but there's a lot, you know, more red, uh, you know, bubbles you guys can see here as well. So the market is cooling off a little bit, but could this potentially be the start of a new rally into the end of 2021? Well, we'll have to keep a cl close eye on it in the next two or three weeks. See how everything happens going into Christmas and the holidays. So guys, before we get into this content, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notifications to get notified every time we can do a video. And as always, leave a comment below letting me know which cryptocurrencies are you currently buying in the market. Now let's get into it. First altcoin is going to be Luna. This one, obviously, in the past year, we're up almost, you know, 15,000% almost, about 14,539%. So that means if you would have invested $1,000 into Luna, uh, you know, just a 1,000% gain would be $10,000. So multiply that by 14, $1,000 would currently be over $140,000 if you would have invested into Luna last year. So, you know, 140x right there, that's just insane in my opinion. You know, turning 1K into 140K potentially. Uh, you know, those are the type of things that can happen in the market. You just have to go out there and find, you know, opportunities. And this one continued to run higher here, as we can see in February, hitting highs, new highs here in March. Then it consolidated here for about two months, went back down with the market to about $4. And even if you bought here at the $4 range, you still would have done over a 15x opportunity from there. And that means if you would have invested $1,000 right now, it would be worth around $15,000 plus you know maybe even potentially more we can see here it continued to go higher and higher the lows got lower the highs got higher pulled back down with the market and then boom it just shot on higher here in the past about one or two weeks obviously in the past 24 hours we're up about one and a half percent in the past week we're up 15 percent here on friday it did pull back down but then it just shot right back up to you know new highs in the past month we're up 36 percent like we said current market cap 25.8 billion Volume is down about 22% at 3 billion. Uh, you know, Terra just continues to push on higher, and it's definitely one of those coins that we're going to be watching closely. Now, obviously, uh, Terra USD adoption backs Luna's uh, uh, you know ascension to a new all-time high. So, you know, it continues to push on higher and higher here as everything starts to, you know, go good for Luna. So as Luna continues to grow, this is going to be a great opportunity for, uh, you know, any cryptocurrency investors that are interested into getting into more of Luna. So definitely want to be adding to your radar, guys, on, on this one. Second, uh, second coin on here is going to be Chainlink. So Chainlink here, L-I-N-K. This one is currently up about 8% in the past 24 hours, trading at $21.79. In the past week, this one is down 14% with lows down here of $16. So from that $16 range, we did make about a $5 gain back. So close to 25% or 30% or so. In the past month, we're down 32% from highs of over $38. In the past year, we're up 79% only. So this altcoin is actually, you know, underperforming compared to some of the other coins in the market. This one was trading at $12, continued to go higher here in February at $32, consolidated and pushed even higher to over $53 in May, pulled back down with the market to lows of about $13, and then back up here to highs of about $34. So about an 80%, 90% gain from the low to the high here, and now we're seeing a complete pullback down 
obviously bouncing off and hopefully continuing to push on higher. Current market cap on Chainlink is going to be 10.2 billion. Volume is flat at 1.3 billion. Typical hold time is going to be 66 days. It is ranked the number 17 coin. 71% buy activity, 29% sell activity on this one. For those of you not familiar with uh, Chainlink, it is an Ethereum token that powers the Chainlink decentralized Oracle network. This network allows smart contracts on Ethereum to securely connect to external data sources, APIs, and payment systems. Something to keep in mind is in order to become a node and start providing data to Chainlink Oracles, holders must stake Link tokens into a smart contract to act as an incentive against misbehaving or submitting false data to the network. Now, how does Chainlink work? Well, you know, it was designed to incentivize a global network of, of computers to provide accurate data to Chainlink's oracles. Now, there are many oracles uh, operating today, including ones that provide price data across a wide range of assets, weather data, and location data. Link is the token used to pay, you know, for services on the network and to incentivize nodes to perform verifiably honest work and provide accurate data. So this coin, definitely a coin I'm going to be watching very closely into the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 to see how we're going to perform. If we can stay in this, you know, range right here, we're close to a support level that we usually bounce off of. Can we see a bounce back up to about $25 to $30 or even push on higher? Or will we break through the support and continue to push on lower? Something we're going to be watching very, very closely, guys. Then... We have the third altcoin is going to be Tezos, which is actually our top gainer here in the past 24 hours. It's up 32%. We saw a huge pop on this one, pushing on higher and higher, trading at $5.52. Now you might be asking yourself, what's going on? Well, Tezos blockchain record, records a 70% increase in energy efficiency in 2021 PWC report. So the annual energy consumption of the Tezos network is estimated to be equivalent to the footprint of just 17 people. This is great news, obviously, and this is something that, you know, potentially caused this spike that we saw here, uh, you know, in the market. In the past week, we're trading flat, so we're back to where we were pretty much before that, you know, pullback. But it did pull back down here to about $3.42. From that area, it is up about 60% just in a matter of about a few days. In the past month, obviously, we're down 13%. Past year, we're up 156% as this was trading at $2 last December. Pushed on higher here in February and continue to go higher and higher all the way here in May at $7.59. Pulled back down to about $2 or so, and then, you know, came back up to highs up here of about $9. So from the $2 range to the $9 range, you would have made about a 3x opportunity right there from the low to the high. And obviously now we saw a huge pullback down about 50%, popped on higher. Hopefully we can push on higher and, you know, fill up that gap that we see right there. Now, market cap, $4.8 billion. Volume is up 409% more than usual at $1.4 billion. Typical hold time is going to be 57 days, 63% buy activity, 37% sell activity. It is currently ranked the number 28 coin. And with this news, this one could gain some momentum here in the you know, future weeks to come. So I'll be watching Tezos very, very closely for a potential run here on this news for a few days, maybe a few weeks. We're going to be watching very, very careful for a breakout. Now, obviously, Tezos is a cryptocurrency and decentralized computing platform. Its features include pr uh, proof of stake consensus, formal uh, verification, obviously down here, and the ability to let stakeholders vote on changes to the protocol. Now, Tezos block creation process is called baking. Tezos holders who stake their tokens can receive Tezos tokens as a reward for creating and verifying blocks. Now, how, it, how does it all work? Well, voting on the proposed changes and upgrades to the protocol is conducted via a protocol called baking in which users lock up XTZ tokens to secure governance rights. This process is a form of proof of stake. Now, bakers can also earn rewards for submitting proposals that are successfully implemented. Now, something to keep in mind is Tezos was amongst the first projects to incorporate Go Fully Decentralized, allowing token holders to vote on changes to the protocol that would automatically be integrated by smart contract, drastically reducing the changes for disputes and hard forks. So this coin right here, we're going to be watching this, you know, for a potential momentum play. We were at highs of about 10 billion in market cap. So I would not be surprised. We have 100% upside just to get to the all time high area. I would not be surprised to see Tezos trading back up that all time high areas in the near future once again. So we're going to be watching that one very, very closely. Add it to your radar, guys. Now let's take a quick look, uh, quick look at the rest of the market. Solana trading under $200, guys. Uh, around 190 is where the support level that I see in my opinion. Uh, a level that we've you know broken many, many times here in the past few months. So we're going to be watching Solana very, very closely. If it breaks under $180, you know, and if it doesn't recover quickly, 
Then we have the meme coins here. Doge and Shiba both down about half a percent, one and a half percent percent down here on this one. Doge trading around that 18 cents area. So we've obviously seen Doge, you know, keep pulling back lower and lower. A lot of people are asking me, why am I hating on Doge? Well, guys, just look at the chart and the chart will tell you everything. There was too much hype going around Doge in the beginning of 2021. And all that hype is, you know, wearing off right now. That's exactly pretty much why I'm talking about Doge the way I am in my videos. Then we have Ethereum here in the past 24 hours is down about 1% with highs of 4,400. In the past week, we're down 6.5%. Past month, we're down 6%. Past year, we're up over 715% as it continues to push on higher and higher. Consolidating here sideways, hopefully we'll you know see a breakout going into the end of the year. 513 billion market cap, 17% of crypto market space. Volume is down about 23% lower than usual. Typical hold time is going to be 71 days. You guys have to you know realize that. A lot of Ethereum tokens are locked away right now because, uh, you know, people are staking it and it's pretty much staked away until, you know, we get Ethereum 2.0. So until Ethereum 2.0 comes out, you know, these Ethereum coins are locked up pretty much and, you know, not going to be in circulating supply trading around in between the holders. Now, trading activity is going to be 63% buy activity, 37% sell activity. Obviously, this is a huge thing for Ethereum, and I believe a reason why we continue to see Ethereum holding strong around this $4,000 range. So the $4,000 range seems to be a nice little support level that we bounce off many times. Even when we go back down, we pull back right back up. So the 4,000 area is going to be the area we're watching. If we go under it, obviously, and you know break through, uh, good dip buying opportunity. Or if we pop on higher, great opportunity as well. Then we have Bitcoin down about 1.5% from highs of about 52,000. In the past week, we're down 11% with those lows like we saw on Friday at 42,000. In the past week, month, we're down 20%. Past year, we're up 175%. But guys, if we stay around these prices, you know, by the time we get here in February, uh, Bitcoin would literally be trading flat if you would have bought it last February and you hold it until this February coming up in 2022. So we're going to see what happens in the next few months, how that's going to affect, you know, the Bitcoin price. If we see, you know, a chart here on the one year and just see Bitcoin trading flat for a whole year, that's not going to be a good sign for Bitcoin holders. And that's exactly why we love Ethereum on this channel, guys. So 951.3 billion market cap, 32% of the crypto market space currently, 14% lower volume at 32.3 billion. And we see the typical hold time, obviously, 75 days, 70% buy activity, 30% sell activity. Bitcoin still great choice, still, you know, great, alt, you know, large, large, cap coin but overall in my opinion i think ethereum will take over in the future and we're going to be watching ethereum you know rise on higher and higher as bitcoin stays a little bit more stable and maybe even pulls back a little bit in the future so you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you agree or disagree with my comment smash that like button for me let's aim for 100 plus likes in this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a new video as always i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is all for entertainment purposes only so before investing speak to your financial advisor do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're getting into before investing i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye